Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be assembling the second build from the LEGO Creator Set 311355, which is the it's, which is the this is the vintage motorcycle set, but in this the second build is the um, street bike, which is that one there, or this one here. And this is what the street bike is going to look like. It's going to look like that. Again, the picture doesn't really, the picture on the instruction, it doesn't really do it justice. The picture on the back there does, because it looks like it's on top of a skyscraper, which is a bit unbelievable, really. But then again, if you watch the Fast and Furious films, you probably, you probably would go, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that, you know. But that's my personal opinion. But then again, as long as the build is good, I mean, the, the vintage motorcycle build was good. I, I have posted those videos on it already. Speaking of that, I would like to thank anyone who has viewed, viewed or liked, or viewed or liked my video on that. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank, um, um, you know, you'll have to excuse my pronunciation of this and I hope I'm not saying anything rude on here. It's Nun Tai Ha and, and Ekta Tep Naha Kep, Kepet No Bukor, which um, if my, I do apologise for my pronunciation. I will try and show you these on here if I can. Hope that looks better than uh, my pronunciation. I hope I'm not being tricked into saying something rude on YouTube. If I am, I do apologise because there are people out there who do that. But if those are, in fact, it's genuine name for your channel. Um, Again, I do apologise. So, but I, I apologise on both counts. We will get on with the build now before I get myself into more trouble. Now we start off with a black three by two base plate, one of these, and two gray two by one bricks with two, with two Technic round connector holes in them. And these go on there like so. Next we have the green Technic 2x1 brick with a hole in it and some te um, Technic um, bar piece, short bar pieces are moulded onto the one, one side. Very common on motorbikes, these, these, these sort of pieces, they go on like that. Next you have two Technic black connector pieces, which are these ones here. They go in there like that. And we have two of the grey two two by two right angle base plates, which are these ones here. These go on the back like so. I say the back, that could be the back or it could be the front. I'm not gonna make judgment on that until I, until I finish the build. Next we have two of the grey 5x1 five by, five by base plates. They go on there like so. Next we have a green 6x2 base plate with a purple two by two curved roofing piece and a purple two by one plate with a stud in the middle. It goes on like that. Then goes on the top here like so. Next we've got a black double cheese piece, which is one of these. So it's like an angled, um, angled plate, basically. And next we have a green two by two round base plate, which goes on there like so. You have a black two by one plate and two brown square studs.
There you go, on there like so. And we flip this over and we got a, should have a grey two by two upside down curved roofing piece. Goes on there like that. So that creates that bit there. And whilst it's upside down, we have a a black Technic connector piece, which is one of these, and a cream Technic connector piece, which is half half round and half crossed. So that's the crossed ends, and that's the round end. So. That goes in there like that. And you see you've got a crossed end there instead of a round end. Next we make what looks like two front axle pieces. I'm going to take a guess on that, so an educated guess we'll go with. So we start off with two of these black, um, I'd say 115 degree angle pieces, give or take. I'm not sure how good my maths is these days. So if I am wrong, any maths teachers out there wish to correct me or anyone who's done, done just come out of school and done their maths would um, do feel free to correct me on that. Now we've got, we've got two, two red, two Technic axles. And I've got to do this twice, so I should have said this before. So that bit goes in there and I've done this on this one here as well. I'll be doing each instruction twice on here now. We've got two black Technic six axles, so they're six long. The axles tend to be um, crossed, tend to have a cross connector on them, so go in like that. Next we have two of the uh, black a black Technic spacer with two um, tech with two round connector ports on it. On, uh, moulded onto the bottom of it um, at a um, 90 degree angle. These go on like so. Got two grey two grey Technic half spacers, which are these ones here, because they're half the size of normal ones. And we put these pieces on here with these two holes here on the um, on these holes here. So I've got to see how this actually works. So obviously they need the black connectors or they've run out or they set don't have any more black Technic connectors, which is the reason you've got a grey one, a cream one in there. So you've got that goes in there like that. That already looks like it could go on something else as something else, which I'm not going to say on here, but Uh, next, we, uh, next we have a green 2x2 two two round base plate, then a black black 4 Technic bar, which is one of these pieces here, thin Technic bar. Then have another one of, the, one of those 4 Technic bars go on here. Like so, as you can see. Next we flip this over. I have two of these grey two by one base plates with a a two by two by four four plate moulded onto it, a 
a right angle. There you go, on like so. You have two more of these Technic two by one gray bricks with the two um, round holes in. There you go, on there like so. Have a gray two by one base plate with a male connector bar on, on one side. Two of the brown, it's like a brown cheese piece with a, um, a square one plate molded onto the top of it. Pretty sure it's got a name, but if anyone does know, uh, please, um, please put something in the comments. That goes on there like that. Now we're making what looks like where the headlight goes on. Now we're making the front of the bike. So this is what we got for the body and engine of the bike so far. So we start off with a green two by two round base plate, a purple two by two base plate, another purple two by two base plate. These go together like so. We got two gray two by one base plates, one half half studded in half with a um, female C connector. Called a C connector because it's shaped like a C. And we've got a purple double cheese piece. Then you've got a Technic cross, a Technic cross bar, a Technic T bar, which is one of these. Goes in there like that, and we have a black round stud, which goes on the top there. You've got two of these black five by one Technic base plates, which are these, so the, the base plates, but in the middle, instead of having a stud, they have a, um, female cross connector, a female cross connector hole. Now a purple, purple two by one plate with a stud in the middle. These go on the, go on here like so. Two more of the um, Technic four, four thin connector pieces, which are these ones here. They go on like this, and we should have two of these green straight um, connector pieces here with a round bit in the middle. And make sure the round bit goes, faces like that. That goes on there like that, and then this. This attaches on the front here like that, 
Um, I'm getting like spaceship vibes off this bit, off this so far, but I think that's just me, so. Next we make the headlight, which is a, should be a green, green round two by two plate and a clear, a clear curved reverse plate with the studs on the bottom. These two go together like that. Then attach on there like that and you've got a little bit of movement on the light as well, which is quite nice. Now you've got two black square studs Two black square studs with a female C connector on one side. That goes on there like that. Now we put the handlebars on and we do the handlebars. I'm not sure I did it, I can't remember I did it last time on this. No, it's different this time. You have a Robot, robot hand like so, and a robot arm piece here. You put these two together like so. You do have to do this twice. Then push the. Push the pieces on there like that. That gives us the handlebars. Now we have two Technic grey spacers. Which go on the front here. Like so, on the top there as you can see. Now we put the front wheel on, so we start off with a green Technic 4 axle with a moulded end on, so you can only go do stuff on one end. Have a black, um, it's got a black, it's, it's, it's got a round, a round connector on the top and, and, a, and a 90 degree angle to it, it goes off to a cross connector goes on like that. Then you've got a grey a grey wheel, a grey technic wheel piece that this is sort of thing you put elastic bands around just to um, then you have a black tire. I think that's really there so it looks like it's got brake pads and then another grey wheel brake pad and a black A black um, right angle connector piece goes there. Then this piece and this piece here goes on the front of the bike here. Goes on the front there, so there's, there's our bike so far. Doesn't look too bad so far. Definitely starting to look like a bike and a spaceship now. But as you can see, the reason I like spaceships, Lego space, so. Next we put the rear, next we put the rear wheel, ah, I've done it, it's wrong. Because ah. I got excited, I think, let's have a look. No, it's all right, no it's not. Thought I got a bit excited there, but I didn't, so. Um, now we've got a green, the other green um, Technic axle with the uh, moulded end on it, so things only go on one way. 
which is ideal for like um, stuff like this. So we have the um, black um, right angled piece with the hot, with the round bit on the top and the um, cross connector on the bottom goes on there. Then you have a right angled cog goes on this side here for the rear brakes. Then the tyre, which is a nice little piece. The right angle, the, the other right angle cog goes on this side, like so. Then the black right angle piece goes on like this. And this goes on the back here on these red um, axle red axle pieces like that and there we have our bike so far does look good next we have um, a green four by two, green four by two plate with curved edges which is one of these And that goes on that side here like that. Then we turn the bike around to this side here, put the, the next green four by two plate with curved edges and a black Technic um, connector piece goes on there. But I think that's for the bike stand. So that goes in there like that. Now we make the bike stand. Not literally make the bike stand because it won't stand. Yeah, obviously, obviously, I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a stand-up comedian. So, so for that, we've got a, a green, um, right-angled cross, cross and round piece. So we've got a, one piece that goes one way, one piece that goes the other way. Have a white Technic half connector piece, which is one of these goes in there like that. Then we have a, a mini Technic connector piece like that in green. Then a gray um, axle extender piece here. And then a yellow, a yellow three, a yellow three axle, which is one of these. Generally, all the axles in Lego tend to be um, cross, have a cross connector on them anyway. So, That bit there seems to go on there. I think that's the exhaust, not the bike stand. So oh, now, now we are making the bike stand. Again, joke still not funny because the bike doesn't like it. So now the bike stand it comes from a have a Technic stud, Technic round no a Lego round stud, a. Silencer or um, extender piece for a rifle in Lego, and a a Technic a double hole connector with a with a Technic pole, a Technic metal bar piece, a Technic um, handle piece on there, or a piece that a Lego a Lego character could hold. And that goes on there like that. And that goes on this pet on this Technic Connect black Technic connector here. And I think we're nearly there now. Shame we can't put another exhaust on it. I think that would look quite cool. As you can see, the bike now has a stand, and it can stand. Let me double check we are done because 
They haven't used a fuel cap piece on this one, which is a bit of a waste, really, I think. But that's just a personal opinion, and, and I'll keep that to myself. But I'll save that for the review video. As you can see, the bike stand can go up like that. It's got a nice little exhaust on the back there. Maybe two exhausts to make it look slightly cooler. Maybe another one of these Lego. That would have been good. But again, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to overly complain about that because it does for, for what it is. It's for, for what it is. It's a good. It's a good little street bike. It's not as meaty as it. Uh, not as meaty as the other one because the other one's meant to be more like a Harley Davidson, but it isn't. It's more of a cruiser bike as people in the. Um, in, uh, people, all, um, all, all the bikers would probably agree with me on that. If you don't, I do apologise because I'm not a biker. Because not allowed, I wasn't allowed to be. So, as you can see, it's not a bad little bike. It rolls along nicely. Um, it's not quite as solid as the. Um, I see it's a bit too high up to sort of stand up on its own, or because the tyres are round, so you've got to put the bike stand down to get a nice view of it. But again, it's not. Then again, at, at the price point of the set, which is around the um, nine pound mark, because it's um, it's at the bottom end of the um, scale. If it were, if it was a, if it was a franchise thing, you'd probably be paying between. You'd probably be paying at least at least thirteen pound for it. The price would be different, but because it's not franchised, it's um, it, it's at the nine pound price point. And it does look good. It does. It does. It does exactly what it needs to do. Um, again, it's missing the. Um, they could have put the fuel cap on it somewhere, which would have been quite nice. But that's just one of those things. But um, but overall, again, and not over again, a nice little piece. So I hope I'll, I will be doing a review video as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if if you would like a shout out, all you have to do is leave a kind or constructive comment and that will guarantee you a shout out. I'm on YouTube, Instagram and Threads at the moment. Um, I do some reviews on TikTok as well, which is, a, which is another channel I'm in the process of setting up at the moment. So it's mainly Lego at the moment, but I will be doing other toys. I've got some quite nice stuff to come through on there at some point. But like I say, um, Stay safe, keep building. Hope to see you on a um, hope to see you on an upcoming video, and 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 basically again, stay safe.